Their cold, unblinking eyes stare straight at you. They are the incarnation of our alien body-snatching nightmares. They devour their victims alive. Praying mantids. To other insects, this is the face of death. Praying mantids are apex predators in the insect world. They have voracious appetites and a taste for just about any bug that crosses their path. They seem in a perpetual trance, hands joined together in prayer, as if performing a requiem for the souls of their past and future victims. But there's nothing angelic about mantids. With binocular vision and their freaky ability to turn their heads 180 degrees, no bug is safe. This locust close encounter of the mantis kind will be its last. In about 50 thousandths of a second, the mantis has it in a death grip. Sharp hooks and spine-like hairs on its leg keep the doomed creature in place as the mantis rips and tears it apart. It's eaten alive. Praying mantids are well-groomed, though. After each meal, a thorough cleansing of its spike-laden legs keeps them in top shape for the next killing spree. And the next. And the next. Mantids disguise themselves as branches, grass, or flowers. This, of course, helps ensure their outstanding hunting hit rates. It also helps them avoid being eaten themselves. Flying, praying mantids have mortal enemies, bats. But they've got a secret weapon, a single ear on their abdomens. With this organ, they can hear the ultrasound frequency or echolocation of bats. It's their emergency get out now signal. That's not the only freakish thing about mantids. They also breathe through their skin, through these tiny openings on their bodies called spiracles. Praying mantids begin their lives like this. The female prepares the oa fica, or egg sac, which is coated in an oozing mass that will harden into a protective tomb with her offspring inside it. With incubation over, hundreds of these glass-like mantids will extract themselves and hang like a delicate chandelier suspended in space. Mantids are born hungry, and their first instinct is to eat each other. Tiny cannibals let loose on the world. Some female mantids don't ever grow out of their cannibalistic ways. Like this adult, who's enjoying a meal of her decapitated mate's head. But back to the babies, where eating fruit flies and each other means they grow to a point where they no longer fit into their bodies and their prototype exoskeletons must be shed. Mantids molt up to 10 times in their lives, each time emerging bigger and stronger to ultimately become the killing machines that puts them at the top of the insect food chain.